The second mechanism that we use to control the amount of light entering the camera is called the aperture and it's located in the lens. So let me take this off and show you. The aperture is an adjustable diaphragm. It opens and closes. Yeah, if I can get it to do this, right? It opens and closes. And of course, the wider open it is, the more light enters the camera, and the smaller it is, the less light, like so. The aperture settings are called f-stops, and the f stands for focal, but they're never called focal stops, they're called f-stops. And uh, I want to go over that a bit, so I'm going to pull up this. So the aperture, the, adjust the adjustable diaphragm located in the lens that controls the intensity or the amount of light entering the camera. And again, the aperture settings are referred to as f-stops. Here's the general rule. The smaller the f-stop number, the larger the diameter or size of the aperture, and the larger the f-stop number, the smaller the diameter or the size of the aperture. So as with the shutter speeds, I've given you some aperture settings, the f-stop numbers, um, and these are again the whole stop numbers. So all lenses have these f-stop numbers. Some lenses go beyond f22, others uh, open up beyond f2, but within those parameters all lenses have these f-stop numbers. Your lens may also have half-stop increments or one-third stop increments. It depends on the lens and the manufacturer, but you will see these f-stop numbers, so the, that's why I gave you these ones, and these are the ones that you need to learn for the class. So I've drawn some circles <laughs> with the f-stop numbers just to give you a sense of what happens when you change the aperture. So um, I've started at f2 here. Um, many of your lenses will actually start at f3.5. If you use a zoom lens, that's almost certainly the case. Um, but again, the, uh, the maximum and the minimum aperture settings vary from lens to lens. The maximum aperture that the lens is capable of is known as the speed of the lens. Um, and that's because it refers a little bit indirectly to the fastest shutter speed that you can make use of with that aperture. And the speed of the lens is the second term that's used to describe any particular lens. So the first term is the focal length of the lens. So if somebody asks me what lens I have on, on, in my hand, <laughs> on my camera, I'll say, I have a 50 millimeter lens, but I'll also tell that person the maximum aperture. So I'll say I have a 50 millimeter f2 lens. Or somebody may ask me how fast my lens is. They may say, Sita, uh, how fast is your lens? Because that's the speed of the lens. And I'll say I have, uh, I have either I can say I have an, a 50 millimeter f2 lens, or I'll say um, f2 for the speed of the lens. And the, uh, the larger the aperture in general, the more desirable and expensive the lens is, um, unless it's a, you know, it's a, a plastic uh, lens that isn't, isn't very good. But in general, the larger the maximum aperture, the higher the quality and the more expensive the lens is. Okay, so let's talk about the relationships between and among the, um, the f-stops, aperture settings. And they are comparable to those between and among the shutter speeds in that 
when you change the f-stop from a larger to a smaller aperture, you decrease the amount of light entering the camera by one half per stop. And when you change the f-stop from a smaller to a larger aperture, you increase the amount of light entering the camera by two times per stop. So if we start at f2, and change the aperture to f2.8, we have stopped down by one stop and cut the amount of light in half. If we then change the aperture from f2.8 to f4, we again cut the amount of light in half. And from f4 to f5.6, we again cut the amount of light in half, and so on, as we did with the shutter speeds. So if I change my aperture from f2 to f8, I have stopped down by four stops. One, two, three, four. Cutting the light in half each time. And so I have decreased the amount of light entering the camera uh, to 1 16th of the original amount of light I began with at f2. In the opposite direction, when we change the aperture from a smaller to a larger aperture, we double the amount of light per stop. So when I change the, the aperture from f44 to f32, I double the amount of light entering the camera. From f32 to f22, I double the amount of light entering the camera, and so on. And so if I change my aperture from f44 to f11, I have opened up by four stops, and I have increased the amount of light entering the camera by 16 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. And if I were to continue, then going to f8 uh, would increase the amount of light by 32 times, and then 64 times, and 128 times, and 256 times, 512 times, and 1,024, and if we got to F1, uh, 2,048. Um, so that is the general rule. Uh, again, um, you may not have all of these f-stop numbers, um, but the rules hold true no matter where you start.